I think the data picture changes as a result of a focus on the holistic employer experience. Because we're no longer talking about just HR data or just people data. We're talking about any type of data that reflects the overall experience with your brand. So I talk about a concept within the book called the return on experience, uh, which broadens out where we look for the great data in order to analyze and make be better outcomes happen within our businesses. So the data piece is changing significantly. We're seeing a lot of adoption of people analytics and the maturity of that field is increasing alongside the development of the employee experience field. So these two are going hand in hand really. You have data that's underpinning great experiences in work. So this changes the nature of functions, this changes the nature of what HR does and what good HR work looks like. It also changes the nature of the entire structure of the business because if you're having leaders that are holding on to data that you need to improve the employee experience, that's no longer acceptable. We have to be more aligned, unified and integrated in the way that we develop our employee experiences. And we can only do that if we've got great data uh, to tell the complete brand narrative, the brand story. So I think this is really, really important. And I, again, the, what I go into in the book is how organizations uh, like SAP, like Airbnb, like Starbucks, uh, and a lot of others besides them, how they're harnessing data to inform, develop, and cultivate these really positive employee experiences. And data comes from everywhere, every function. It comes from inside the brand, outside the brand. But it's all part of this journey that you're on to really present this holistic picture of your brand, its performance, and its impact, not just on employees and shareholders, but also on society at large as well. So the game has changed and data has changed with it.